In today's video, we are going to be talking about a very interesting topic. We're going to be talking about my dirty nails. Spoiler alert, they're not dirty, but I'm going to explain what's happening and there are two reasons why the nails might look like this. And I'm also going to explain how to clean your nails safely. Here, as you can see, as I'm working, this area of the nail looks a little dark and people right away jump to a conclusion that this must be dirt. All right, so let us look at some anatomy lesson here. Okay, so here is how the finger looks from the side. So the nail bed is the area that it's, it's a living skin uh, where the nail plate rides upon okay so this is the nail bed this is the nail the part i mean the nail that breaks once in a while underneath here there is something that's called hyponychium and i'm going to show you what it looks like so on my instagram i have everything so this is hyponychium here and i get actually quite quite a few questions asking me why this happens and how to get rid of it. So the hyponychium here is a seal between the nail plate and the nail bed. And there is also an area right above the hyponychium where the top layer of the nail bed actually bunches up together, creating a bit of a ledge. And that is called onychodermal band. And here we have a quote from Nail Knowledge. By the way, this is a, an amazing website with a very good knowledge. So on the codermal band is an area at the edge of the nail bed that looks slightly gray when seen through the nail plate. It is considered to be the natural smile line. There is a strong seal under the free edge that prevents allergens and pathogens from reaching the delicate nail bed where they can cause infections that will affect the nail and the matrix. So the matrix is right here. This is the area where the nail is growing where the nail is being created. The skin from the nail bed, as it grows forwards, squeezes past the seal and slightly bunches up. This is why it appears to be slightly different in color and this is absolutely natural. So there's two things happening here. One is that you can see when the nail is transparent, you can see the onychodermal band. And with some people you can see it much more. It just depends on how the nail is built and how the skin underneath the color that it has. And with some people you see it less. So that's one thing that's happening. Another thing that's happening is the nail looks different when it has a lot of moisture in it and it looks different when it's dry. And let me show you on my nails. So I took this picture a day, these two pictures a day apart. These nails here, the picture was taken after I did some cleaning and I was wearing gloves. And obviously the, the nails absorbed a lot of the moisture. And because I had a nail polish on my nails, the moisture did not evaporate very quickly. So believe it or not, the nail polish itself, especially the nitrocellulose, which is a film forming ingredient, it's semi-occlusive, which means that it seals some of the moisture uh, in the nail. So the moisture can come from two different places. It can come from the outside. So it can come from the water that when we were soaking our hands, it can also come from the nail bed. So from underneath the nail, the, there is moisture that always goes up and the, the nail polish seals it in. So when the nails are polished to a degree, they, they have more moisture in them. So the nail polish retains more moisture. And when the nails are dry, they look more white here this area because this area has dried out completely now very often with uh, the nail polish on the nails are in between so there's two things happening here first of all you can see that darker area which is the onychodermal band onychodermal band this is difficult to say sometimes so you can see this and then there's again so this is one thing and then also there could be a variation in color when the nail has some moisture in and then the moisture evaporates. Actually, you can always see it in this picture. Our neighbors are having party again. Uh, you can see it in this picture. So in this area here, there is more moisture in the nail and this area, sometimes there was just, maybe there was more oil, actually probably uh, the oil made this nail a little bit more transparent in this area. So that variation in color 
also can look like the nail is dirty, but it's not really dirty. It's just, it's absolutely normal basically for the nail to have variation in color. And then a third thing sometimes is that, especially when people wear nail polish, especially polish that has nitrocellulose, it can stain the nail a little bit. So that area is just going to be a little bit more stained. So a little bit yellowish looking, but that's not dirty. It's just a little bit stained. And let me show you how my nails look with the nail polish on. Okay, so here you can see how the nails are looking. Also, you can see the variation in color. You can see the on the codermal band that it's a little bit darker. And now again, everybody has a different skin color. And sometimes this is more visible and sometimes it's a little bit less visible. Now, how to clean the natural nails. So you have to be very, very gentle um, with the natural nails because the seal underneath the nail is there for a reason to protect the nails. So we don't want to be breaking that seal. So it's not a good idea to be cleaning the nails with sharp tools, with metal tools. And I often get that too from, from our viewers is that they ask why I don't clean clients' nails. I don't do that because I don't like doing that with sharp tools. I tell people to clean their nails with a soft toothbrush. So you can get actually a soft toothbrush and after a shower, you can just scrub the nails underneath with a, with a gentle toothbrush. Don't keep scrubbing too much and uh, because you wanna make sure that you don't break that seal. Now, let's go back to the original pictures and I'm going to very quickly talk about the extended hyponychium and how to take care of that skin and if there's anything we can do about it. Okay, so what do we do if there is an extended hyponychium? So really, we don't know why this is happening, but this is very often happens when people wear some type of coating on their nails um, for a little bit. So it could be even nail polish that's worn and it could be acrylic or gel or gel polish. I find interesting enough that sometimes the actual nail bed starts to extend a little bit more and we start to see a longer nail bed, which is actually very nice sometimes, but sometimes um, it happens that it excessively extends and this is what we see. So because we have to be very gentle, we don't want to cause onycholysis. And that onycholysis happens when the seal between the nail bed and the nail plate breaks and then the whole nail recedes and that's where we can see that the nail becomes very, very white. Uh, you get like white patches underneath and there was like empty space, right? So we don't want that to happen because then this makes a perfect environment for bacteria or, or fungal spores or anything or even yeast to grow in that area. And it's difficult to then fix it when that happens. So we want to be make sure that we're very gentle. And I also found um, in quite a few of our viewers messaged me letting me know that this approach helped. Keep applying a good quality skin and nail oil and actually even pure jojoba is a very good option. I like mixing it even with safflower oil or avocado oil. Actually, I have a, a video about warm oil soaks and there are some ideas about the oil. So oil is a very good idea because it just keeps everything nice and flexible. Another thing that you can do that I found that it's very helpful in this case is to use urea-based cream that has also salicylic acid, which would be the carousel that I often talk about or Hasserol if you are in Poland. It's exactly the same ingredients. So I normally recommend to put that cream around the nails when the skin around the nails is dry and it's hardened because the urea and the salicylic acid, they keep everything nice and moisturized and nicely exfoliated. It's a very gentle chemical exfoliant. But that product works really, really well in this case as well because it exfoliates and keeps everything nice and clean underneath the nails as well. So highly recommended if you ha are having this issue with the nails to just put a little bit of the carousel or hasserol underneath your nails. So now, as you can see, the nails are not dirty. If you're having this issue, don't feel guilty. It's absolutely natural that the nails don't have perfect coloring. It's absolutely natural and normal. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.